Okay, so the memory allocation. Someone asked me actually about how much memory did my um, Superior Drummer Kit take in the MPC. So I have it running standalone. And uh, I'm going to go in to my browser. And, uh, you know, by the way, I've converted my, M my Superior Drummer into an MPC expansion just so it's more convenient. It's at the top root directory in the expansion tabs. So I'm going to load that up. It's about 200 megabytes, by the way, the actual whole entire library. And the library is not just 16 drum sounds. It's bigger than that. It, um, it's got a bunch of alternative uh, selections on that. And it's really, really convenient. I can show that in another walkthrough video. Um, but we're looking at the memory here. So this MPC has uh, two gigabytes of RAM. And so it went from zero to... 15% uh, running just those samples, CPUs at 3%. Okay, so my guess is is, is that um, I'm going to run, I'm going to add uh, eight tube synths because that's what it, it maxes out at. So one, two, three, five, six. Okay, I can't run anything more. So Eight tube synths plus one. So you have the memory is at 17, 17%. Okay, so now let's go backwards. We'll go into here. I'm going to convert this into stage piano. Okay. All right. Okay, so now let's see where the memory is. From 17% to 37. So it took 20%. Of the mem of not 20 percent but it took it up to 37 percent just a stage piano okay so i might want to use oops close um and another plug-in i use hype a lot for example so let's go change two cent to hype and i'll go to la poly four okay so you see it didn't take a whole lot to load. So 1% of the memory. And that's interesting news. I'll tell you in a minute why. Let's see. We'll do another hype. And I'll do another big synth category. And I'll do string bellies. Okay. 39%. So hype uses very little RAM, okay, and neither and TubeSyn does not use a lot of RAM, okay. So let's go back. It's non-scientific, but let's go back, go move forward, and we'll convert this TubeSyn into um, Fabric XL, and I'm going to do the wait, the Awakening, okay, okay. So. went up to 53 percent okay let's change to an upright piano let's see uh it's loading right now so you can see a lot if you will okay so 52 53 percent so let's open up another fabric just a regular fabric, the light one. I'm gonna do a slow pad. Okay. Assault loading. The CPU. We're at 60%. So the the message here as far as running standalone specifically for the older uh, generation NPCs like the X, the one and the live, is that the two gigabytes is enough to probably run um the eight plugins it may your mileage may vary depending on how much sample memory and audio recording you're doing um now having said that the mpc keys which has double the ram um it's not going to run more plugins per se but it, it could theoretically handle um eight more heavier plugins if that's what you're going to use it just depends uh i'm actually a big fan of hype and, and op 
4, OPX4. And they don't seem to take a lot of memory, but your mileage, again, will vary. Um, the other option is, uh, a friend of mine had mentioned, is just running this in control mode when you're really doing some heavy work. And then you're at the mercy of your computer's processor, but the workflow doesn't change. That's, and that's an option for even the NPC keys people as well um, to be able to run it. But So you have to balance out what you think your number one checkboxes are when you're running a standalone and how much you think you're going to run. Because it's, because you're in the end, you're balancing CPU with memory. Memory seems to be the, 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 um, the one that's trickier. Now... If I go out of here and go to controller mode, okay, and I'm going to load uh, NPC software. It's looking for computer. Okay, and I'm going to go in and, and now I'm in the computer. I'm going to the expansions. Um, and load... this um while i'm showing you this um this is like that working kit that i told you and then here's my alternate pieces so i got three different snares different kick drums i've got different Crashes and hi-hats. These are like a Zildjian, Bosphorus. And then I got Toms. This is from the Nashville kit. A couple different rides. Um, all this takes about 200 megs of RAM on the hard drive. Uh, and what's kind of cool about this is that, like this snare, for example, um, this fat snare... Like this one right here. If I want to copy that to the main working kit, all I have to do is green is your desk is your source, and red is your destination, right? And now I've got the fat snare here. That works extremely well. Now, if you look at the computer, we're talking about like 1% of the RAM, which is nothing. So you're talking about centrally looking at this and the CPU. You are actually talking about um, these are the hard drives. Don't look at or you don't have to worry about that. 15 times you can run. You know, this is not scientifically speaking. So if I run um, a Fabric XL, a big fat one, Let's see, okay, and I go another plug in and I run um, one of the pianos, which is I'll just run stage piano. Okay, you can see it's even loading even faster. I'll run another one. We'll do another fabric. And so, uh, matter of fact, I'll run another hype, kind of like what I ran before. Okay. I'll run another hype. And you're going to see I'll run another Fabric XL. Uh, we'll run electric piano. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to run one more. Tube synth. Uh, that's not going to challenge it, though, but that's okay. I'll run uh, drum synth, a multi. Okay. And I'll run one more. I'll run a 
DX keys. So I've got eight plugins plus the superior drummer. Okay. And I'll go into the CPU usage. You're talking about 5%. So whereas a very cons uh, similar configuration running this in standalone, uh, I was up at like 80%. Okay. 88%. Um, and the CPU usage was, you know, I don't know where it was actually at, but we're talking about the RAM today. 5%, which is almost nothing. Okay, so. And. Man. But you're also talking about. Um. got the again the drum program so or do we have it let's see maybe I overwrote it so let's just go back to browser let's just load it right here this is a sample pool um, let's load it again replace down here. Okay, so we're at 5% of the memory. So obviously this computer's got a, uh, just a boatload of memory, at least 64 gigs. So that's understandable. You'd probably run out of CPU usage um, on this computer before you'd run out of memory. But like I said, I'm, the, the size of the projects aren't going to be really huge. I just don't do that kind of work. But that hopefully answers the question and kind of gives you perspective on whether running this on standalone, you know, how much you're going to hit the wall or how fast you'll hit the wall. And that's based on your own workflow and what you demand. And um, the MPC keys is actually a factor if you think you're going to push those limits and standalone, and you're going to be remotely somewhere where the computer is not an option. Uh, the other option would be if you own a, a computer, more of a modern computer, like a laptop, and you've got, let's say, MPC Live, uh, that might be actually cheaper in the long run, and you can run more uh, and not have to worry about those limits instead of... So, for example, I don't own an MPC keys, but I need to be portable. I might need to take this with me, but it's not going to be enough uh, for whatever the reason. It might not be. And so you have to carry a laptop running MPC. Um, you know, what can you buy for $1,800 that has more memory, um, what will give you more performance? And that's something that you'd have, an option that you'd have to balance out. So um, so it, it's an interesting uh, dilemma to think about and you can go almost forever on that. So, so until next time, leave any questions or comments and peace out.